Fish on guys, fish on. Oh my goodness. Nice eater. Nice. That's awesome. It will be supper. Okay, with this pike, hopefully uh, tonight I can do a how to fill it pike boneless. How to fill it pike so it's boneless. First thing, a very important thing is when you catch the pike, make sure you cut uh, its gill and bleed it out. So when you fill it, it's not as bloody and slimy. What I first do is just cut it down. Okay, so make a make a cut like this. All right, and then what you want to do is you want to cut along the belly here, because they have like a almost a skid plate here. So if you want to cut its side off, it will block you from going a smooth motion. So uh, what I do is cut it. along the belly in the middle and then cut around the I guess skid plate here I'm just gonna call it a skid plate I don't know what the scientific word for it is so yeah so I cut rock hard this is a kind of bone so you cut the skid plate there after you cut the uh, Play it off here. You just run your knife along the backbone What I do is I kind of follow this line All the way back And you can lift the belly meat uh, Cutting the belly also kind of help you guide your knife through its body So you don't kind of misalign the cut Yeah, you just cut all the way to the bottom. There is one nice big fillet. Same thing on the other side. Yeah, like look how little blood there are because I bled it out at the lake. When you're filleting, there is so much less blood and it makes it so much easier. And the meat is going to taste a lot better too. There you go. Two nice big fillets. Because this is a fairly good sized pike, you could also take the top layer of meat off. This is a nice layer of meat. You can see the knife actually runs through it really good. I'm just going to cut it off before the fin. There, see that's that's another nice piece of fillet. This is all boneless too. Some people also cut this piece off to make uh, fish broth, fish stew. Um, today I'm I'm just not gonna do that. Next is you wanna remove all the skin. Actually, before removing the skin, uh, I like to remove. I like to remove the rib bones first, rib cage bones. There you go. You can see the end of the bones here. Okay, now you want to take the skin off. All right, now there's a nice skinless fillet. Same thing on this side. Okay. Take the back meat. Take the skin off of it. There we go. Now this piece is already all boneless, so I'm gonna just soak it in water. It's nice having running water inside the garage <laughs> at my filling station. I really like that. All right, so I just put that piece in the water to soak, so the left of the blood will come out. Okay, now, now is the part where everybody wants to see. So how do you get the Y bones in the pack out? 
So what you want to do is find the top of the pack. So this is the top and this is the belly. You want to have the top up and then in order to find the Y bone, you can kind of see it right here. You can feel it with your hand. So the Y bone runs all the way along. So the Y goes like this. Here is the top line and here is the middle line. And the Y bone curls like that. So it's kind of like this. So it goes like that and that. So what you want to do is make an incision just right on top of the top line. Okay, all the way. You find the top line and make an incision all the way on the top of the top line. Okay, till you can feel the bone under it. Same thing. Make an incision on the bottom of the bottom line. Okay. And this one you can kind of tilt your knife, angle it up almost, a little bit. But just first make an incision. Okay, so as you, as you cut more of the top line, you kind of want to curl your knife and cut along the Y. Okay, you can feel it. So yeah, you, if you don't know where to stop, just cut it all the way. Who cares? Who cares how it looks? See, you can see the end of the Y bone here. Right? Look, that's the end of the Y bone. So it looks like, so this is the fillet and the Y bone is, it goes, it's like this, but it goes up. Yeah, so do that all the way along. There we go. So look, this nice strip of meat is all boneless as well. Toss that in the water. And then go ahead and find your bottom. And cut up. Just on the other side of the way, look, you can see my knife on the other side of the bone. This is my first uh, fish fillet of the year, so I'm a little bit rusty. But anyways, so yeah, so this piece just includes the Y bone. Toss that away. The rest of the meat that's left is uh, completely boneless, okay? Put the top up, belly down on both fillets. And the inside facing up too. Okay, this one's more clear, easier to see. So look, you can see the top bone starts here. Just cut it all the way along there. Look, you can see the Y bone. This Y, these Y lines are the Y bone. These Y bones, look, those Y lines, they're the Y bone. Yeah, you just want to cut above it, all the way, and this piece is completely boneless, look, so there's Y bone running all the way along here, and I just took the top off, cut the meat from top of it off. I don't really care about them attaching to each other. And then look, the middle line, it's pretty obvious. Cut on the bottom of the middle line. And then turn your knife and cut below the Y bone. Nice sharp knife really helps. Here we go. I took the Y bones all out. There's some more meat left behind below the Y bone. Yeah, then I 
you're just cutting in half for this is all boneless fillets you just soak them in water for a little bit and then you know wash them and package them or cook them again see the top line cut above it you can really feel it with your finger it's hard to see but you can feel it with your finger Boneless fillet, and then look under again. Helps if you just run your knife through it a few times, and it comes right out. There, another nice boneless fillet, cut in half. Perfect. Why do you cut? On angle, apparently if you cut it on angle and you deep fry it, it's more crispy that way. I don't know, I just do it like that. Alright, hopefully that helps you out a little bit. That's how you get boneless fillets out of pikes. Hopefully you enjoy. Make sure to subscribe. Thanks so much. See you next time.